Hey, are you blind? Do you know who I am? Does the name John Wayne mean anything to you? This is private property. Stop right where you are. Turn around. Do it slow and easy, Buster. Head that horse of yours back to wherever the hell you come from. Trespassers are not welcome here. Get your ugly butt off my land. Do you see the signs? Do you see this finger on the trigger? My god! What the hell has happened to this country? Those damn thieves are ruining the ranch. They've been stealing livestock, stealing food out of gardens, stealing my tools and wood out of the shed, and they've been stealing whatever sticky hands touch. They'd better stop that crap fast, or their dirty butts will be on the wrong end of my double-fisted four-barrel shotgun. Last time I rode to town, I told the sheriff about foreigners invading my land, blowing like tumbleweeds from across the border. That was a waste of time. Might as well tell my story to the bartender over at the saloon. That low-life sheriff would rather be slurping whiskey at the poker table than doing his job. He has a reputation as a chicken thief and playing fast and loose with women. His twin brother, the lazy judge, thought the jailhouse job belonged in the family. Folks in these parts got no reason to trust that no-count sheriff. He is a worthless piece of dirt when it comes to protecting this country from trouble. I doubt if he ever shot that gun of his. I doubt if he knows how. It's doubtful he even has bullets in that shiny six-shooter he carries in that fancy leather holster buckled to that fat belly of his. Life in this country has gone to vicious dogs. Most folks keep doors locked out of fear of being robbed. The banker has been stealing our money out of his own bank. Most folks can't afford to buy sugar, flour, or butter from the town store. The preacher over at the church had to take a job at the stable because folks have no money for his offering basket. Somebody wrote a letter to the governor asking for handouts, wanting troops put on the border to keep troublemakers away from our property, begging him for lumber to rebuild barns that were burned down by prairie fires, and begging for a wagon of food for hungry kids at the orphanage. The governor finally wrote back many weeks later saying he would like to help, but since nobody paid taxes for over two years, there was nothing he could do. People in other parts of the country got it much worse than what we are going through, so he said. We haven't had enough rain to keep crops growing. The drought is killing us. Folks are worried about famine if gardens dry up. We can't keep ourselves fed on chickens, sheep, or cattle much longer if thieves steal everything we work hard to own. Starvation is a horrible way to die. We've had more than our share of floods, tornadoes, and wildfires in years past, making life too miserable to stay happy. Nowadays, we worry more about no sheriff to keep trouble away, no doctor to help sick folks, no money to pay bills, no reason to work, and no hope things will get better. My God, what the hell has happened to this country? It's enough to make a grown man cry or start praying for divine intervention. There is nothing to do but pack up and take a trip along a long trail out of here if God doesn't rescue us from this mess. This land that was once home for many generations of my family longer than I can remember has become a burden too heavy for even a strong back to carry any longer. It ain't worth the trouble it takes to keep it. It makes sense the way things are going to give it to the vicious dogs, dirty seas. Give it to the termites and let the fire hot sun take whatever is left. There is a narrow path through rugged mountains to where a glorious land filled with beautiful green pastures, hills covered with tall trees, lakes filled with clear water, somewhere beyond the horizon where people can still be trusted. My dreams are leading me to that faraway place. Tell my friends and neighbors to count me. John. Tell them to follow or stay behind. I have a very long ride before I find that place where security, liberty, truth, love, and beauty is within. That is where I want to go. That is where I want to live forever.